So this is the new camera. It's a Senna prism tube. Jump on his phone. Which is a very nifty looking thing. It just looks like a, a black metal tube. With a very sleek mounting system. Uh, when the camera's not there, there's pretty much nothing to see of the of the uh, the mount, which is nice. Especially when I'm trying to fit the helmet into the front, I suppose that should be very handy. Now it comes with a a microphone and an earpiece, which I fitted into the helmet. So hopefully. The microphone's doing a good job and the earpiece is there so that the so that the camera can talk back to me. Because when I switch it on, I switch it off, it tells me. A little voice prompt in my ear. And the same if it runs out of memory or the battery is low. So that's handy. It's replacing my Drift HD as my point of view camera because the Drift uh, started malfunctioning a couple of months ago and I haven't been able to correct it. Um, but if the, uh, if the voice recording works very nicely then I don't need to carry the GoPro with me as well. So that's... Uh, Two birds and one camera. Proverbially. That was some dodgy cornering. From both the bikes and the SUV there. Motorcyclist on his phone, that's unusual. They're doing some kind of construction, so we have to go out here in the dark got a sand blowing there let's not uh, get any of that in the eyes I should probably have my spotlights up a bit higher, that's uh, they're pretty much aiming at the road in front of me, which is not very helpful. That's high beams. And I've had hardly anybody complain about them being in their eyes, which is sort of the point. <laughs>